Hello traders, so today we're going to be placing a live trade uh, based on the contraction and expansion strategy. So um, obviously the first part of this strategy is you have to be able to identify a trend in the market or an impulse leg. And after that you have to be able to identify a corrective pattern. So we can look at this market, we can see that the market is making a corrective pattern right here. We had a huge impulse leg to the upside here and then a corrective pattern. And this market will most likely break to the upside but how do you trade it how do you approach it well first of all do you buy because now if you look at this corrective channel you can see that the market is already breaking out of that corrective channel most people would buy it as soon as it broke out of the corrective channels but that is not the right way to trade it the right way to trade it is you have to wait you have to wait and be patient and this is the reason why you need to be patient because most of the time every time a market breaks out of this corrective pattern it will come back down and what I usually do, I usually draw a box around the corrective pattern and I draw a line through the box, through the middle of the box. And nine times out of ten, this market will come back to that middle line before it goes up. Now I'm gonna tell you why. Um, as I wait for this trade, obviously if it goes back to the, if it comes back to the middle line of the box, I'm gonna be placing a trade. And I'm gonna explain to you the reason why the market will do that. Um, and even if you have time, go and research the market and look at so many of these corrective patterns. You're going to see that nine times out of ten, the market will come back to the middle line of the box. Now, where we are at the middle line of the box, and then I've executed my trade. I've got I went long on this market. Now, the expectation is the market is going to rise and go all the way to the one two seven extension. That's where you're going to take your profit. But the reason why we put a line through the middle of the box is because if you look at this whole collect corrective structure. The strongest part of this corrective structure is usually the part where the market has kind of touched every single part of I'm just trying to find a little line. So if you draw a little line here, you can see that the market has touched that line one, two, three, four times. And that is usually along the middle line of the box. So that is the reason why when, when you're trading a contraction and expansion pattern, especially this pattern in this case, and I mean this could have easily been a one, two, three. But it ended up being a one, two, three, four, five pattern. So we have a one, two, three, four, five pattern here. One, two, three, four, five. And then the market broke out. But then you wait and be patient because nine times out of ten, the market will come back to the middle line of the box. And that is where you want to be taking your trade. So now that we've taken our trade, how do we, um, where do we place our take profit level and our stop loss? So our take profit level is usually going to go to the 127 extension. Of the recent impulse like so 127 next section this is where our take profit is going to be 127 extension that's where our take profit is going to be let us make that green and in terms of um, our stop loss the stop loss needs to go below the previous structure loss. so below this previous structure is where our stop loss is going to go so I'm going to just Put a box right there if we go like 10 15 pips below that structure that's that is a perfect place to place your stop loss so now let's see how this market is gonna react so you can see you can see clearly that the market comes back to the middle line of the box and it's already tested that line a couple times because this is the strongest part of this structure the more times uh, a particular structure has been tested the stronger it is but this goes back to the rule of understanding resistance and support you know so if the market has tested the line a few more times so I'm gonna go ahead and close that position because we already hit our target so buying a 1.722 selling at 1.3 1.737 that's about a hundred and fourteen pips in profit and that's that is how you trade the contraction and expansion strategy guys Thank you. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, leave a comment below. And uh, yeah, and if you want me to explain how to trade other strategies as well, do put it down in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next video.